I am Deacon Savio Jude Fernandez of the province of Bombay. I belong to the parish of St. Pius X Mulun, a place in Mumbai. I have completed my Bachelor's of Commerce from St. Andrews College, Bandra. My family lives in Mulun. I have my dad, my mom, a younger sibling who is married, and my sister-in-law who also stays with them. I worked in two investment banks for a period of nearly six years. For the moment, I am based at St. Michael's Church, Manikpur for my diaconate ministry. My vocation was born in my very own parish, St. Pius Athen Mulun, at a Lenten retreat conducted by the Redemptorist priest. Of course, at that point, it was just a feeling to be a priest and not a particular Jesuit priest or a Salesian priest. Going forward, I wanted to know more about the different groups of priests in the Catholic Church. And so I began exploring. Um, to put it in a better way, I began window shopping. And the last group to which I actually got in contact with was the Jesuits. Of course, I did not make my decision at that very moment, but it took me around two months before I actually pinned down on the Jesuits. It all came from a single, a small, a beautiful feeling to help people. And that's how I landed up with the Jesuits. And all credit goes to the Mother of God, to Mother Mary, in whose hands I placed all my um, doubts, my problems, and above all, my vocation to be a priest. When I first told my parents about this thought of becoming a priest, my mother especially thought that I was crack. Uh, they even at one point began explaining to me what it means to be a priest. It was then that I realized how serious this decision was. I told them about uh, the exact feelings that I felt at those moments and how convinced I was in my vocation. When it came to my friends, it wasn't that easy. As I was working at that point, most of them thought that I'm getting a better package, I'm going to a bigger company uh, with many more perks. But then when I actually broke the truth to them, they began wondering and they began questioning me that how would I be able to live without my parents, without my brother, without my sister-in-law and without my friends, a life in solitary. But I also explained to them saying that the decision that I have taken has given me peace and joy and the witness of it is in front of you, I, Savia Jude Fernandez, standing here as a Jesuit. One of the biggest challenges that I as a Jesuit faced during my formation was speaking in public. I was really shy from the very moment I joined the Jesuits. I preferred being with my own set of friends and never really, really went up on the stage to speak. And it was a strange fight that caused me a lot of problems. But as I began, as I moved forward in my formation years to the novitiate, the juniorate, and later on in philosophy, it molded me to be a leader. I began moving more forward. I began speaking to people. I speaking, began speaking to bigger groups and thereby I began mixing over and my fear began reducing and I became more bold when it came to public speaking. I thanked the Society of Jesus for this great fear which I had right from the beginning which now has subsided to a great degree. Now that I'm nearing the day of my ordination, there is a bit of fear. Not sure what the future holds for me but at the same time, there is also a kind of strong feeling that tells me, move forward, move forward. And that's what keeps me going. The happiness that I feel in every moment as I live my life as a Jesuit, as I live my life as a scholastic, and very soon that I will live my life as a priest is because of this one small feeling that began 
when I joined the Nabi Shoot. The only message that I would like to give at this point as I am nearing my day of ordination is to be as simple a human as a person can be. More than being a priest, it's to be a good human being and that's all that matters.